Now, I'm going to introduce you to Jupyter Notebooks. Notebooks are an amazing tool for data analysis, where text, code, and images all sit in one document in your browser. Here's an example notebook where I explored predicting body fat percentage with various regression models. Up top here, you see what's called a text cell. Cells are these guys, and they can contain text or code. If I double click on the text cell, I can edit the text in here. It's written in Markdown, a text format with syntax that renders to HTML. So for instance, if I want to write a link, this is the syntax for it. And if I render the text cell, it's a link. This is a code cell. You can see here I'm importing some packages like NumPy and Pandas. I could run this cell and the code is executed the same way as it is in a terminal or a Python script. This command here, percent sign matplotlib inline, will render images generated with matplotlib in the notebook instead of a separate window. If the cell returns some output, you see it here. For instance, data.head returns an HTML table displaying some of the data. And right below here, you see the data visualized with a grid of scatter plots and histograms. Notebooks even render math in the text cells. This is just an example of what you can do with notebooks. You have your code, documentation, visualizations, math, all in one place. Next, I'll show you how to use notebooks in your workflow. It should take about an hour to get through the lesson, so see you in the classroom.